Hi guys. Happy, beautiful, and blessed a Wednesday to everybody. So I hope everybody's having a beautiful, blessed day, guys. For all that are new, welcome to my channel. I am Marisol. I am looking super shabby. I am at home. I am working on my dolls today. So excuse my appearance. I'm looking like this, but I took a shower. And I just put on my moo moo and I'm at home relaxing. But this is a quick video. And I wanted to, I'm putting together this um, replica doll that I got from AliExpress. I painted and put, him, I, and put him together myself. This is the second doll that I have. Well, I have, um, this is not the second doll that I got from AliExpress that has connectors. But I actually just recently started putting together bolt joint dolls from AliExpress. And it seems... Um, so i really didn't know much about the connectors and i had to kind of like figure it out right so the first smiley that i put together i did figure it out it took me um a little bit and it was just my first time so i just kind of like really wanted to like do a quick video and show you guys how the connectors from aliexpress come and by the looks of me seeing people with other um collect um uh, dolls that have bolt joint bolt joint dolls other collectors that have bought that own bolt joint dolls i contacted two of my friends and they kind of like um gave me like a run through of their doll and how the connectors are from aliexpress i mean from uh, mcpherson's or the original or irresistibles all those other um you know legit dolls that come with connectors um this like i said is a replica from aliexpress and uh, this it's a bungee cord and these are the pieces that you have to put your doll together with so i'm going to show you guys a little bit more i'm going to kind of put the camera down because I want you guys to kind of like see what I'm doing because I really don't know and I did it one I did it once before and it took me like it took me a little bit to put it together because I, I it comes with no instructions no directions just in this little bag all these pieces and this okay but from like I was saying from seeing other people's dolls that come with like the legit or the other connectors I'm gonna say because I gotta say, honestly, I've never experienced um, a bolt joint doll f with the connectors that um, that they sell, like on McPherson's or like on Irresistibles or anything like that. But I gotta, be, I gotta be honest with you guys. I think I like this better because I've seen my friends, and it's almost like you can make this super tight. I don't know if you got the options to do that with the other dolls, but. This kind of like worked really, really cool for me the first time. So, um, so yeah, so I just wanted to kind of like show you guys um, what, you know, try to put it together from, from the first time, you know, um, and show you guys. Okay, so let's get to it. So first, you get three of these big pieces, right? And as you guys can see, this one, I don't know if you can see on camera, but the first, this one is bigger than this. And these two are the same size. So these are for the arms. These will go in the arms. This is for the head, right? And then you have these like buttons. Okay, that's exactly what they are. They are buttons. You see that? They're like buttons, like plastic buttons. This one is bigger than this one. So you have three of these big ones and a three small ones, right? Head and two arms. And head and two arms. Head and two arms. So these two are smaller. Let's keep them there. So then now I'm going to kind of like figure it out with you guys on camera. I kind of like got the idea or the, or the hang of it. So I just want to show you guys, okay? I'm going to bring the camera down. So you guys can see. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay. So in the head goes one of these buttons. No, one of these connectors, this big connector. Well, let me put the light a little bit brighter for you guys. 
So in the head will go this connector to kind of like um, hold the um, hold the right. I gotta go in inside inside like that. Right. So you gotta shove this plastic thing inside the head. But first you have to thread the small button. You have to thread this through the small button. Wait, let me see. Guys, I'm just, I'm doing it. Um, I'm figuring it out, right? So this one goes, this actually will have to go like this, right? So it'll go like this inside the head. So let's see. I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. Again, because I do remember we did figure it out, but... You know, guys, I, I only did it one time, and I now have a whole bunch of ball joint dolls that I have been putting together. So, you know, sometimes you have to cut the plastic. I mean, not the plastic, the bungee, bungee cord. I did the first time, had to cut it a couple of times. So you want to kind of, like, get this as even as possible and thread it through the button like that, right? So it's going to look basically like a this right so then now you want to thread both these parts in here this is what's going to hold this piece in there like that basically right okay so now we're going to shove this whole thing inside the head inside this hole right i know it looks kind of crazy but this is how it is this is how i did it the last time and I really I mean it took me a minute to figure it out because that's another thing too um figuring it figuring out if it goes that way if it goes like this or if it goes like this so now I've gotten it wrong I believe it goes like this so now we gotta take it out and you know we gotta figure it out that's it just figuring it out is all that we gotta do A little bit of patience and figuring it out and this is basically how I did it the first time I had to figure it out and just take my time with it make sure that you don't damage the doll as well it's kind of like a little bit hard to so try not to make you gotta try not to make too many mistakes putting it in and out because you don't really want that, right? Okay. And maybe we could turn it, maybe we could turn it inside out inside the head. Oof, it's a little bit annoying, guys. So, bear with me. Like I said, I only did it once before. It was a matter of... Getting it in and getting it in correctly. Okay. do it oops like that but you go inside 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 it goes actually right now we're gonna thread now this we'll use 
a big button. You're gonna thread the ends through the body, through the torso. Bring you up a little bit because now the baby's kind of coming together. So we're not even halfway there, guys. We're not even halfway there. Okay. <clears throat> like that. Now we're going to thread this through here like this. Inside the body. I believe. Notice how I said, I believe, because I think it's something like this. Right? I'm not sure. Let's see. Yes. Yes. I think it's like this, right? And then, then you're going to need a connector in here. Wait. Okay, I'm just figuring it out. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to stop the video just so it doesn't continuously go and then it gives me a hard time. I'm not going to go to the next step without coming back. I just want to take a minute to kind of figure it out and um, let you guys know the correct way, okay? Okay, I'll just be right back. Just give me a second. Okay, guys, so I did this like a hundred times, a hundred times. It kind of like you get the idea of it and it kind of like you, I get lost in thought, you know, like I, I don't see the vision at all. So, okay, so we put the connectors in the head. We, so we did part one, right? You got to make sure that the eyes are right and everything because sometimes the eyes could get cockeyed or whatever. You want to make sure that you the eyes are good because once you put it together, I don't know how the heck anybody would take this doll apart. Okay, both both strings both bungees will come through this bottom hole as you guys can see right giving it right the button is in there this the big button and then the connector button which is this right it's in there it's in there okay and then now the bungee is coming through here right okay so i kind of did this i prepped it on one side so that i can show you guys and not forget all right so i feel like i gotta sneeze excuse me all right guys i'm sorry moving forward this is what you want this effect you want holy holy So I'm missing a big button, which I haven't moved, so it's probably I'm sitting on it. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay. I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to, I get up. Oh, the button is right here. See? Let's not panic. I haven't moved. So, okay. So, moving forward, if you mess up, you ha this button has to go inside here. As you can see, it's a small hole. This stretches. It goes in. And then you can also take it out. I've only taken it out 99 times. I haven't messed up. I'll show you guys how to do that. But moving forward, let's do this effect on this side, right? You want to kind of like, you see the way this spreads? I've cut it only like a million times. Okay, because... It unravels. You just want to cut the end so you could get a nice, a clean little, you know, thread. Because now we're going to have to put these connectors. And then it's going to become a little bit challenging when you when we go in there. I'm actually missing another button, but we're going to find it. It's in this. Um, I'm, I know I'm sitting on it somewhere. But anyways, let's get to it. No, I'm not. This, yes, I am. Okay. All right. The connector goes like a this, right? Because you wanted to kind of give it that effect. 
no not that effect inside the arm but inside there okay this is how we're gonna do it got the connector like this the little button goes on top and you just want to thread one through one through so you're gonna one hole through right you're gonna thread it like that only one and then we're gonna come back to that one and that's where it could become challenging okay because you got to do it kind of like inside the head you're gonna do like a this effect right and then you're gonna take your big button and you are going to thread it through both holes right like that right you're going to thread it inside the we're gonna shove the big button nope not in that arm okay let's do this side <laughs> this is the arm to this side so now we're gonna take now you got this this is the effect you got one hole is we're gonna come back to that hole the connector and the big button the big button is going to go squeeze that squeeze it no need to cut the vinyl guys okay you just gotta be firm and aggressive and you can shove it in there shove it in there shove it and the hole guys come on ladies you know that the stuff be stretching we have babies and it goes right back right this is what you have right that's what you have right and now i am going to put the other arm on this side because guys i um i'm a little bit traumatized myself i got a little bit of a headache from doing this um no 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 we're gonna see okay i messed up eyes are messed up we're gonna take this button out okay we're gonna take the button out take something sharp it doesn't have to be scissors it can be a screwdriver i was gonna show you guys this anyways go on the side and you just pop it out guys and no sense of crying see look like i said the sh whole stretch you know guys right so how i messed up was take this button out take this button out guys take this button out right okay the connector goes inside here and we got threaded actually got to thread it through the arm what was i doing what was i thinking what was i thinking what was i thinking don't worry, Papa. We got you. We're going we're gonna to make you look so handsome. Thread that, thread that string through like this, right? Thread that string through. And now is where we're going to thread the button. We're going to thread this button like that, right? We're going to thread that button like that, guys. I'm so sorry, okay? I hope I didn't mess up, but it's good because you've seen that I was going to show you how to take the button out regardless. And now we're going to shove this button in here. And now, so this way you don't panic. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Now we're threading this this piece again through the arm. Right? We're going to thread it like that. And we got this arm. Oh, look at the button right here. See? We got it like that right but now we gotta go back inside and we gotta thread that small button guys okay that's what we gotta do so i'm gonna clip this because this one is a little bit challenging right this one's goes let me take this off so i don't get confused and damn self right and now we're gonna get that connector this connector this is this is where it becomes a little bit that you like oh my gosh maybe i should have gone with mcpherson's but no because you know what mcpherson's don't have this doll for the price that i paid for it which was a hundred dollars the hair was 45 bucks his eyes were 20 and my time was price a little priceless okay okay we want to get that little button that we 
originally put on top of that. The, uh, the, I'm trying to hmm. shoot. I don't want to get confused. So it goes like this. I want to kind of like thread the other one because I don't want to get confused. I get confused. I do one and then I kind of like it throws me off a little bit. To be honest with you guys, it's a little challenging. You got to put this all the way in there with that little thing. It's very, 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 very challenging. But it's not impossible. I've done it before. And if, you know, nothing in life is un impossible. You just got to work. Got to work them fingers. Got to work those fingers. Okay, let's see. Come on. There goes a little button. What the heck? <sighs> Life. Don't worry, guys. I just got all day for this. And if it's not done today, it'll be done tomorrow. And if something frustrates you, put it down and come back to it. That's it. You know, everything doesn't have to be done right there and right... Oh, I got it. Okay? Everything doesn't have to be done at the same exact moment that you're doing it. Something in life frustrates you, just put it down and, and, and walk away and come back to it. That's it. That's it. That is all. And I, I, I put the body down because I couldn't thread the, the zip tie through it. It's giving me a hard time. Shouldn't let nothing in life make you feel like you can't do it. Cause you gotta have that I got this shit attitude. Okay? You know it looks crazy, but this is the connector coming out right here. See this? I got the button in the connector right here, right? See that? See that, guys? I don't know if you guys can see that. See the connector? That's the hole that I'm trying to get it through. I'm trying to get it through that hole. Which I cut this. I cut this thing, the edge. To try to make it clean, but it, I, did I tell you guys how fast it shreds right through? But guess what? Done. So I don't want to push it through because I want you guys to see it. If I do something and you see me do something on video... And it's successful. Anybody can do it. And if it doesn't go through, I'm not going to stop trying. And that's the attitude that we all need to live with. Okay? This is done. Put it back in there. This arm is now connected. This is exactly what we need. So, I want to see if I can show you guys. Do you guys see what it looks like inside? You see the connector, the, the big giant button, and then the little button is threaded through. And before I forget, let me stop talking crap, and let me do the next one, right? Let me do the next one. So, it was the button like this, right? Button like this, through here, right? We're going to put this through the arm. Cutest boy on the planet. Okay, okay. Hmm. Come on, Shrey. Right there. That's a little extra piece of plastic. 
right? To connect the thing is through, right? And then now we are going to put this is arm right here. We are gonna thread this through the big button like this. Okay. It's a little bit of a project, guys, but nothing in life is impossible. Okay. That's all. That's it. That's all. And maybe this one won't be as. And then we're gonna. It's easier if we squeeze, squeeze it this way. Just put it in because just shove it. I'm kind of like working opposite to my um, because I'm trying to. I want you guys to really like see. So it makes it a little bit. You're not gonna damage it. It's do not cut the vinyl. Do not cut the vinyl i have to stress it's it's plastic it's very very flexible do not cut the vinyl nothing no lips to put no pacifier nothing i've seen people they sl they slit the lip to kind of put a pacifier i don't know what they're trying to do but it's not it's not meant for this vinyl to ever be cut at all okay at all so now we have it like this. The button is in there. It's threaded. And we have the bungee on this side. We're going to put this piece to, uh, through here. And we're going to have to thread it through this button and through here. Okay. So let's see if we could do it this time without having to freaking stick my fingers in like the first time. Right. Which is looking like we're doing better on this side. Okay. I'm going to cut this right here. The bungee. So I can have a better thread threading like this put it through here the big hole you put it through this a small hole this one i was able to do outside i don't know if you guys can see i wish i could bring it higher up put them on my lap so you guys can see okay okay i'm trying to do it opposite i'm trying to work um you know, on my lap is kind of hard. I don't even know if you guys can see it better, but we're threading it through the little button like that, right? We're pulling that like this, and we're shoving this button inside his body, right? Okay. And all these connectors, all these things. Now, You pull guys because this is the whole pulley system you got to pull everything all these buttons all these things that are loose in there oh my gosh we got to pull it right pull it as much as you can as very very tight as you can you see it's already getting tighter but you have to do it super freaking tight so you could do one side at a time. You want, you want his head to be nice and tight. You see, he's still got a lot of, nope. Arms are nice and tight, but we got to do it super, super. I want to pull this side first because this side is less bungee. Be honest with you, I always call my brother on this one so he could pull it for me because he's strong and I don't have like too much of a grip. And it looks crazy. Gilbert, can you come in and pull for me? Gilbert is strong, guys. See, the arms are nice and tight, but I'm gonna ask you to pull this for me, okay? But give me a minute. You want to kind of like. He is, he is already put together, guys. He is put together already. He is put together. 
See, but I want his head to be, oops, sorry guys. I want his head not to be that loose. You see what I'm saying? I want his head to be tight. So you have the inside there. You have to. Inside there, you have to keep kind of pulling his arm, pull like that. See that? That's going to tighten that. You know, pull his arm. It's good to have two people to hold the strings. It's really like a little bit more challenging because I'm doing it by myself and I want, you know, the first scene now is, is tight up, but you want tight, tight, tight. You want tight, 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 tight. So pull the arm, pull the arm because, you know, it's only one string. So, right, so you pull this, by pulling the arm, you can... See, now his head is getting much tighter. But the thing is that I want it super tight. And this is what I like about this pulley, that you can make it super tight, super, look guys. See, now it's tighter. Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera up a little bit because now I want you guys to see. See, now it's really, really tight. So not really tight, but I want it tighter than this. But look, it's tight. I think this is pretty tight already. And you see his cave, his body in, is encaved. But now we're gonna remember we're gonna stuff that. Once we once we get him as tight as we want, we're gonna stuff his chest with polyfill, and that's gonna you stuff it really really good. A lot of mainly have like this kind of effect. You stuff the crap out of that with polyfill, and it pops it right out. And you see, guys, he's already he's this is pretty tight. Look, his arms are super tight. See that. Look, his arms are tight. I think I'm happy with his head movement. It's pretty, uh, this is it. I'm, I'm at where I want to be. I'm at where I want to be with this. All right, so here goes uh, the button that's going to actually hold the tension, okay? This button is going to go in like this, and we're going to thread each hole, each, um, each of these threads through here. So you do one hole. Like this, right? And then the other hole with the other pulley, like that. See that button? That's gonna be your pulley system right there and you're gonna tie this as hard as you can. So here it goes. You're gonna put that in there, just like that. Can you guys see, All right? Nice and tight. So sorry, guys. I got a call and knocked my thing. Okay. Am I, am I, I just knocked because I want to finish the video. Okay. So this is what he's looking like. He's on there nice and tight. Don't worry about the cave chest. The button is in there. It has each, each arm has one, one little hole in the button. And we're putting that button in there. Right. And we are uh, tying uh, this up like that. Boom. I don't know, guys, if this video will be educational for you guys. I hope so. But Lord knows that I am going to go back and watch this video next time I do it. Because if I tell you, I, I did only 99 takes. Okay, it's 99 takes for this. So he's looking caved in like that. Don't worry about that. The ones from McPherson's or from Irresistibles, they do the same exact thing. And guys, knot this up. Knot this up. Make knots. That's what we're doing. Making knots. I make a lot of knots. I don't make one knot. This baby's going to be super, super, um secure okay yes 
finally, finally, finally got this baby together. So that's three knots. It's looking like a vat. These guys can see that. Let me see. It's looking like that. We're gonna do four. We're gonna do five. And he's good. He is put together. Now we are gonna shove the remaining on there and now we're gonna put polyfill in him. And I'll be back with the polyfill cause you see the way he looks? He looks like, what, what? He looking great. His arms are ni super nice and tight. And look, I did him so tight. You could kind of like even hold his hands up. So I think I did a fantastic job. I'm going to fill him with polyfill. I'm going to stuff the living daylights out of him with polyfill. And I'm going to be right back to show you how he's going to look on the top. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So, meet your new nephew. Hi, aunties and uncles. And I did a great job with putting him, pulling him. See, not caved. No more. Um, his um body, I'm sorry, I'm reading a text. His body was caved in here, caved on the sides. And I told you guys, I don't worry. I don't, you worry. My mommy got this. She got this all uh, put together. Okay, so he is put together. He is very poseable. And then what I like about him, let me put this camera back a little bit like this so you guys can see. Sorry about my pajamas, but I don't care, guys. I've been home all day, okay, guys? I've been home all day messing with this doll, all right? So, I made a video, and his body came with that one leg. Uh, the leg was backwards, and I... I, I uh, contact the vendor and i told them and they mailed me another body which took a whole four weeks to get here and then i was super excited i opened um i opened the body it was a little doll it was the video before this one guys um or maybe two videos no video i did it yesterday so it was the video before this one i was super super happy that i received the body guys and guess what after the video the body was damaged in the same exact way as the other one. It was a little bit upsetting. It was frustrating. But never fear, Marisol's ideas, okay? Listen, I went to this, um, this tailor that's right down the block from my house. I paid him $20, and he did a fabulous job. Look what he did. He fixed it. He took the one body... And he cut the cut the material and sold it. You see, guys? I don't know if you can see. See that? Stitching all the way around that you cannot even uh, see. He just took the other leg and the, the other body and he cut the leg and he stitched it. He cut this, the body on this one. And he stitched it and he did it in 10 minutes. He did it for me. It wasn't even $20, but I was so happy. I paid him $20. Um, and we were both happy, okay? He made my day. So, uh, this is uh, the little man. So, he was a custom after I did the first with girl. Okay. Um, um, a view, um, a daddy friend hit me up and she was like really interested. She said, could you make me one? I want one, but I want him to be a boy. So, I made this baby a boy. Guys, you guys know I'm a boy mom. So, I was really excited to make it into a boy, which I love how he came out. This is his hair, guys. This is my rooting. It's not freaking perfect, but this hair is phenomenal. This is the hair that I use that I'm always praising on this hair. This is my rooting, guys. My rooting is a not. I mean, I'm saying it like that because people think that I'm a good rooter and it's not that I'm a good rooter. Is I get the hair on there. I just use absolutely fabulous hair. This is uh, the rooting on uh, this doll. His hair is not shedding. It's all there. I sealed it two times. Okay? I sh Look, guys. No hair. I sh Two times. It's sealed on there. Really, really nice. This is uh, a Mr. I don't know what you want to name him. But this is him. He comes with a box opening. It's um, 
pretty nice, okay? Because the last one I said, I'm going to only put two, three outfits, which I did. This guy comes with a couple of more because the mommy that was supposed to buy him, um, she's a, a good customer, and I always um, superly bless her with box openings because I just, you know, her energy is great. She placed the order, and now she is not getting in contact with me about, you know, getting him. So... That being said, if anybody's interested in this a uh, baby a uh, boy, hit me up. His armatures are, I mean, not his armatures, I'm sorry. His connectors are fabulous. I connected this baby the best, okay? Look at that. His hands stay up. The other baby that I did, as tight as I did it, it would not do this. The practice makes perfect practice makes perfect okay so that being said this is the baby this is his feet he got tip no uh tip nails this is the bottom this is his hands okay if anybody is interested he is a 750 dollars a shipped with a box opening okay guys he has a box opening and he is fantastic. That's him. Okay. That is him in his entirety. So whoever wants him. If uh, you have it and you want it. He is available. We're going we're gonna to put him a little outfit right now. Okay. He's still a little boy. So we're going to give him a diaper. Okay. Because. To be honest with you, um, I got I only have a couple of pull-ups and they are um girl pull-ups, um like some princess or something. I don't know. I don't even know what princess, but this is a size six diaper, so it might be a little bit big. I'm not sure, but let's see. He's a big boy. So I'm sorry, mama. You okay? Start with my dog. I start with my dog. Okay. So this is his diaper. Okay. He got a Mickey Mouse diaper. All right. That's him. And we're going to give him this outfit that I bought for him. This is actually probably going to be a little bit big because it's 18 a month. Okay. But I'm leaving all the tags on it because it's brand new. And guys, you know, I got I got to get in the kitchen and I got to cook dinner because I've been at this all day. Putting the connectors, putting this baby together. I mean, it's just taking all my day, and I really wanted to kind of like root today. But guys, my days I never go as planned, like I always say. But that's okay. God is good. I'm alive. It's experience. Everything on God's time. I have um, I have other babies that are going to go for rooting. So that being said, he will go home with a pair of sneakers or shoes or something. Um, and some socks. But right now, guys, I'm just going to throw this on so we can see him dressed. I haven't dressed him yet. So I'm doing it with you guys. Oof. It's been a day, guys. I just took some Tylenol because I have, like, a tension headache, believe it or not. But it's okay. This might be a little bit big on him, like I said. He has 12-month-old um, 12, 12 month old outfits. And um, 18 month old. I bought him two. Um, sorry, guys. I can't. I got. I they they called me. Somebody called me, and I just always when I'm always when I'm making a video. Never like the whole day will go through, and nobody will call me. But when I make a video, you best believe somebody's gonna knock my damn video. I gotta learn how to put like um where you could block the calls from coming through. I gotta. I might. I think my daughter told me I could do that. Um. I gotta learn how to do that, definitely. Oh my goodness, Papa. You are such a boy. Oh no, this actually fits him good. This actually fits him well. Okay, we're not gonna give him sneakers because I gotta cook. So, um, I just got this right, I got this um right quick to see what he looks like and I didn't get no sneakers or nothing, but he will be com he will be uh coming home like with a pair of slightly lightly used um shoes or something like that. You know? I I you know guys, I hook I hook my babies up when they when they come home they go they go right. But oh let me see. Okay. Oh 
Okay. I thought the I thought this that, that was a hard button. Mm -hmm. These buttons are hard. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just weak. Guys, you know what? It's past it's about five o'clock. I have to get in the kitchen and cook dinner. And honestly, I haven't even ate breakfast. I've been on iced coffee all day long, guys. And that's probably why I have a headache, to be honest with you guys. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I have a damn headache. Oh, guys. Mm -hmm. I've been, I'm glad that he's put together. Mm -hmm. He came out really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, ain't that something? The last button is missing. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But it's still a brand new outfit. I didn't really notice it, but it's all right. That it makes me want to exchange it. But you know what I did? I cut the tag, which mm -hmm. I still got the other piece right here but i cut the tag off the price on the tag but i can't change it i probably will i probably change it but look at how cute he looks and this fits him good this fits him really really uh, good let me just bring this up a little bit like that so you guys can see his face Oh my goodness, Papa boy, you is a boo cute. You is a cute. And he likes a bucket hats, and he will be coming home with this bucket hat. Mm -hmm. That's him. <laughs> that is him, okay? That is a him. If anybody is interested in this, handsome little man okay he will ha he will have some a pair of shoes he will guys but please i bear with me like i said i'm tired i gotta finish cooking and just leave these dogs alone look at this polyfill guys okay polyfill everywhere polyfill world it's polyfill right here he will come home with a couple of outfits guys I did go shopping for him, and he has his own wardrobe. He has a new outfits. He'll come home with a mommy gift inside the box. Something, um, something you know, nice for you guys. For the mommy that decides to get them. And uh, that is my video for today. Say hey, guys. Hey, guys. Say hey, guys. That's this a little a uh, man, guys. If anybody's interested, his price is at seven fifty shipped. Okay, because he's seven hundred and fifty dollars for shipping. The box is big, and um, I got him a new blanket as well. I got him a mustard yellow a blanket. I was gonna send him. He also is gonna come home with um, with um. Well, that's not here. I'm not even gonna mention that because, um. Yeah, anyways, I did buy him a, a blanket because he's a big, a big boy. And I have umpteen blankets, but I don't really have, like, really, really big ones to wrap him in. So I bought him a mustard yellow, very soft, very nice blanket that he will be coming wrapped in. It's brand new. And um, that's, he'll be coming home with a couple of outfits. And this outfit, guys, I am not going to change it. It's the bottom button. These guys just noticed. I mean, I I just noticed on camera. Um, I could change it, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go all the way for a button. I'm not. But that is him. The outfit is brand new. I still got the tags. That is him. The outfit is um the hat is brand new too. Only I've only put it for pictures for um one of my boys, and that was it. Um, that is it, guys. That's my video for today, guys. I thank you for spending your time with me and just for watching me i struggle putting this figure out his connectors um that video is going to be very educational for me for the next baby that i put together because i do have other babies with connectors that i, I i'm going to be putting together and this was my second time doing an aliexpress putting together with the connectors doll video so that being said guys Thank you so much.
for spending your time guys i didn't say in the beginning of the video i think but if you like this video please consider liking subscribing hitting the notification bell so you could get notified and bona fide whenever i make another video please share my videos with your dolly friends so that you can help my channel grow and also if you have a channel let me know so i can go check you out and for my faithful watchers i love you guys so much i'm sorry that i didn't say this in the beginning of the video i love you guys every single day guys okay thank you so much guys i love you guys and remember keep god first say a prayer be thankful be grateful and be kind to one another okay guys i love you guys so much and i will be seeing you in my next video okay this is my favorite mumu guys it used to be my mama's my mom is always with me. Bye, guys. <laughs>